Hey everybody, my name is Michael Corson. I am one of the teachers and coaches here at Beulah High School. Um, I've been here for about four years um, and I've taught special education here and I'm also one of the baseball and football coaches. And a, a lot of what led me to Beulah was part of the small town feel, um, which reminded me of where I grew up um, in a small place uh, called Clay County. So I'm able to relate to a lot of my students and a lot of my players because, you know, some of the things they go through is very similar to what I had to go through growing up. Just the places that, um, just the place that they grow up in, the things that they encounter, just being, you know, in a rural area. It felt like it was home, but I didn't know if I was called here or not. Um, but I knew I wanted to coach, um, and I knew that I had the opportunity to teach. So I get here, and I realize this place needs the gospel more than ever. Um, there were people here that were spreading seeds and planting the gospel, and I wanted to kind of join them um, in doing that same thing. So we started creating Bible studies. Uh, we tried to put FCA in place over at the elementary school. Um, and then I got to the high school, and it was more of how can we do a weekly Bible study to bring our athletes in. Um, we already have FCA where we invite athletes and students in, but we wanted to kind of focus on a, our football team in the fall is how we, how can we have a Bible study where we bring all these guys together? So me and a, a couple of coaches decided, let's bring Bible study in. For baseball, we do a dugout devotion once a week, trying to plant um, the gospel in this area. You know, a lot of what we we preach around here too is, you know, having a firm foundation. You know, my first year here, it was a lot of Matthew chapter seven and planting a firm foundation. You know, when those waters come, when adversity hits us during the game, you know, will we be shaken or, or will our foundation be firm? Will, will we be able to, you know, get through that? So that was a lot of what we preach. We continue to do that. We continue to push these kids to be different. That's what we tell them every day is be different. Um, you know, lean on one another. Iron sharpens iron. Now, looking back, I do feel like I was called here for a certain purpose. I think that purpose is still being played out. I think there's you know, certain purposes that have already played out. And there's been, you know, two or three times where, you know, I've just been in kind of awe and shock of just that overwhelming presence of like God being there with me and just literally knowing that He has me right where He wants me. I've never felt like that um, in any other place, specifically in my career, but I never felt like that in what I was doing was exactly what he wanted me to do but i've been reassured multiple times from him being in this place so you know i look back on it i didn't know i was being called but as i go through the day to day you know and there's times where it's tough and you know you know resources or, or whatever it may be that kind of gets thrown at us and it's tough here and you know maybe we have kids that are struggling i, I try to get them you know to represent themselves the right way to be respectful you know, have a sense of urgency about it. We preach that all the time. So I just feel like having those things in place, it just makes it so much more, you know, easier to be um, at Beulah, but also it makes it rewarding too, because the work's hard. Um, so the rewards, the reward is greater as well. If you don't know what your calling is, or maybe you think you might be in your calling, just reach out to God. Just, just pray to God, just continue to stay in touch with Him and He'll reveal that to you um, in the ways that He does.